Hi guys, welcome to my video and my YouTube channel. I mean, we need to talk about Mid Journey again because this program is absolutely insane. And I also need to test out my new microphone. So this is the perfect scenario, right? I have discovered so many awesome things with Mid Journey that it, it's it's kind of like a drug, right? I, I just can't, I can't stop. I need more Mid Journey. It's absolutely nuts what this program can do. And I will show you exactly why this is so nuts all right so sit back grab a cup of coffee and some popcorn and let's begin okay guys i want to create a mushroom warrior right i have an idea for a mushroom enemy type which can also be an enemy that gorm can spawn at some point to help him out right so we have the slimes, the spiders, and the rats in the game right now. And I've always wanted to make a mushroom enemy, like in the old Wonder Boy games, right? Where you have this huge mushroom guy who jumps around and creates smaller mushrooms. Absolutely fantastic. So I just wanted to see what uh, kind of stuff Mid Journey could come up with to help me designing these mushroom characters. I mean, again, I can't draw anything except for stick figures. Right, so um, I need help with my character designs and that is where Mid Journey comes in. So I, I just want images of small mushroom looking guys with long spears and a big mushroom kind of head. Right, that's what I want. I want to see images of that so I can get good ideas that I can put into my game. Right, and <laughs> again, Mid Journey does not disappoint. It's absolutely insane what this program can do I, I can't believe i'm looking at this right now it's 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 mid journey is giving me more than i ever asked for right and these mushroom characters are absolutely awesome looking some of them are super adorable other are, are kind of scary looking right and almost like monster creatures it's 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 mind-blowing what mid journey is giving me just by typing in a few words, right? And I can absolutely 100% use these character designs when I'm building the enemies for my game. I can't believe we are at this point right now. So again, let us let me just show you some of these characters and you will you will see how nuts it, it all is. It's fantastic. So this is the first mushroom character I tried to do, right? It's very simple. I just wrote down mushroom warrior character, hyper realistic, right? And it gives me this guy, which is almost exactly what I want. I have a small character with a big mushroom on his head and he has a spear. Right? I didn't even ask for the spear, but it gave it, it, it mid journey knows what I want, right? So it gave me a spear, absolutely fantastic. And I mean, <laughs> look at this guy, right? these big dark eyes with a reflection in it so so it kind of lights up in in the shadows and he's super serious i mean this guy means business right he's armored he has a spear he's ready to go so i mean don't say anything to this guy he will attack you immediately you can just see it in his eyes then we have this fellow which is a little less of what i want right he, he has a very big body this dude he has a big mushroom head, which is fine. He looks a little skeptical, right? Like, what are you doing here? Why are you looking at me? And then he has a pretty awesome looking spear. And again, <laughs> this all weapons you create in mid journey are super short because they need to fit into the frame or something like that. But it's again, it's super easy to make a spear like this and just make it a little longer. And you have an awesome looking uh, mushroom guy, right? Okay, now we get into some more creative stuff, right? Now, instead of, okay, let's look at the prompts, right? Fungus mushroom character in bracket. Mushroom as head, spear weapon, glow, particle, debris, realistic. It's, there's nothing realistic about this, but um, I mean, I, I have I have had some problems with uh, my mid journey. Uh, the settings has been wrong, or I have used the wrong upscaling method, or something like that. But everything I upscale will look like it's it's with this painted look, which makes everything look kind of mushy and and muddy, right? So it's not really sharp and it's not very detailed. 
but it that is my mid journey settings i have been using a beta upscaling method that is giving me this painted look that i don't really like it but uh, i mean most of the characters will look like this because i have the wrong settings but you can still see what it is and this is a funny looking mushroom creature right i'm not sure how else to put this and then we have this guy an insanely evil looking mushroom dude right these crystal drops on the top of the mushroom head these evil looking teeth kind of shape it looks kind of yeah, i mean this is an evil mushroom you don't want to stick your fingers in right and and the render is awesome look at the lighting and the colors fantastic looking character this is also something i really like uh, that is super inspiring uh, to look at right and 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 this is closer to a mushroom character I would love just give this guy two arms and a spear and and he will run after you and you will be screaming like a girl right it's absolutely fantastic design again here we have another one of those evil looking mushroom dudes uh, with with stuff on his uh, mushroom head right again you don't want to stick your finger into this mushroom right I, I, is that a thing do do people stick fingers into mushrooms i don't know doesn't matter you can see in the prompts I have the words glow, particles, and debris. And it feels like every time I put these three words into whatever I'm searching for, it, it creates these super awesome looking images with, with bloom and some particles in the air. And, and sometimes uh, stuff are kind of like exploding. And when you're doing characters, it's super awesome to have these uh, particles and, and debris and, and glow around the characters it just it just makes it very appealing to look at right i mean the same here the render is awesome you see the sharp light coming in and the, everything the light is hitting is kind of glowing up right looks great all right this this, this guy is great i love this guy this is this is more what i'm looking for right we have a mushroom with no face no head just a mushroom with a spear right can you imagine anything more terrifying meeting a mushroom with a spear in the forest right even if it's a little one you will be thinking what the fuck is going on here so this guy is great it's a little low risk but but this is more the mushroom guy i want it needs to be a mushroom it it i don't want a creature with a mushroom head so this is perfect yeah this this dude is great look at that expression right like he just woke up in the morning and because he heard a sound right look at the lighting guys look this is a fantastic character design and this is this is the type of mushroom i want to create like the one before where there's there's no clear head the mushroom the head kind of goes into the mushroom uh, top right and then just the mushroom body all the way down this dude needs some legs and some arms but i mean i can easily make that um afterwards right but but this is this is i mean this guy is awesome again this is the type of mushroom guy i'm looking for so in the prompt i have used the word crystal core i saw some place on the i think some youtube video explaining all kind of styles you can put in and the, the the crystal core kind of makes stuff into crystals and I, I just kind of wanted to see if it could make some crystal elements to these mushrooms just for fun but i guess the crystal core weighting in this image is a little too low for it to really do anything so this this is one of those mushroom characters where he kind of just have a mushroom shaped helmet on or hat on right and that is not what i'm looking for i'm not looking for a humanoid looking creature with a mushroom helmet i'm looking for an actual mushroom right this guy is still looking great but it's not what i'm looking for then we have this dude and this is also one of those i really really like just a big body a huge mushroom shaped head or hat or whatever he has on top big eyes no nose no mouth no real expression and then one arm of course he needs two arms right but he also have these small thick uh, legs and feet which i also like this could this could be 
Uh, this could be a very good contestant to the character, the mushroom character I want. I really like this guy. So this this is also a pretty cool guy. This is he's he looks more like a frog, a toad of some sort, right from the swamp. He, and then he has these glowing things on the top of his uh, mushroom hat, which is also pretty cool and very effective if you want to see things in the dark. Right, this this is a cool character, and he, I like his personality. Like he's he's ready to go on an adventure, right? You can see that. And then we have this this weird looking fellow. He's there's definitely something wrong with this guy, right? He 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 wasn't cooked long enough, if you know what I mean. He looks like one of those. He he could be a villain from uh, the Darkwing Duck Disney show, right? He definitely looks very awkward. And here we have one of those awesome looking mushroom characters. I mean, this guy could be the hero in his own game, right? Or in an anime animation movie or something like that. He just looks like a guy who wants to go out on an adventure, right? With a armor plate and the armored mushroom helmet thing and a bag with a stuff in it and a weapon. You know, he this this dude wants to go on an adventure, right? He he looks like a hero in his own game, right? L looks great. Now th this guy is pretty cool. Look at that long, creepy arm and that those fingers, and then he's holding a weird-looking spear. But this is a fairly short. Uh, uh, this is a fairly small body compared to the big mushroom head, and uh, that's what I like. And it also looks like he has some kind of tail, but it could just be a, a mistake or an error, I don't know. But the character, my mushroom character could have a tail, if I think that fits. It's a good idea, why not? So here we have another one of those uh, characters who can be, uh, you know, a hero in his own, own game, right? Huge mushroom uh, top head, shield, spear, a little chubby, <laughs> but uh, I mean, Chubby characters can be heroes too, right? This guy is cute. I like him. Big eyes. Uh, yeah, cool, cool guy. This guy is great. I really like the design of this one. Like a short, uh, fat body, huge mushroom thing on the head, dark big eyes, spear, arms, legs. Oh, he's ready to fight. This guy will do anything to protect his mushrooms, right? And then he has stuff growing out from the head, which I don't like, but <laughs> I'll just ignore it. Great character, this one. Here is another one of my favorites. And he doesn't even have a mushroom hat on his head, right? This is basically just a frog. Cool looking frog with big dead eyes. I just like his whole ball shape, like like he's almost as round as a ball. And then he has the mushroom part on his neck and his back. This is a really cool character. Maybe I want to do a frog warrior enemy at some point too. Frogs are pretty awesome. Yeah, I will think about that. This, this character is awesome. Here is again one of those uh, characters. Uh, who could be a hero in his own game. I mean, he looks he looks badass. He looks awesome. I would love to play with this guy in some game. Fantastic lighting. Kind of looks like a kind of a like a little paladin frog thing. There's not a lot of mushroom going on here, but uh, it's a cool character. I mean, this is <laughs> this is the magic of mid journey, right? Sometimes it comes with something different that just looks awesome. Look at the lighting and the particles in the air. Uh, I, I love it. Great. Great stuff. This dude is pretty cool too. Super round body, round mushroom head. He doesn't have a head. The head is the actual mushroom, which, which is exactly what I like. And then this big round uh, BB-8 kind of body with arms and legs. This is pretty cool. I would remove those metallic looking uh, blobs on the mushroom, but... Um, yeah, this is a cool and then he has a belt too, you know, to, I don't know, uh, keep his trousers up that he kind of lost on his way. I don't know, this character is pretty cool. 
And again, here is one of my favorites of them all. I think there's another one, the next one. Yeah, so the next one where there's no eyes, there's no head. The head is just a mushroom. And then this mushroom looking body with arms and legs. Uh, a little too smurf like shoes, but we can also, I, will, I would change that, all right? This is an awesome looking character. And here he is, the same one, but with, with eyes. Right, and he kind of also reminds me of that other one I showed in, in the beginning, that furry one. I'll show him right here with those two big eyes, right? This is this type of character uh, is super awesome. And that is the type of mushroom character I want to create for my game. So the cool thing about these prompts is that it will give me more mushroom than character. And I'm also looking for mushroom inspiration, right? I have an idea for an ability where you can set down a magical mushroom that will heal any friendly uh, char characters in the area. Uh, and then I have this other idea uh, where if you upgrade this ability, then, you know, small mushroom men will drop down from the big mushroom and they will have spears and they will kind of protect the big healing mushroom if anything comes close to it, right? That, that is kind of an idea I have. So I'm also looking for just general mushroom uh, designs. So again, the same prompts. This is a big mushroom fist type of thing. I mean, it's what Mid Journey is doing is absolutely insane, right? We have this fluid drops in the air. He's standing in some kind of water slime thing and he just looks fucked up, right? There's something wrong here. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. So again, this is one of those mushroom dudes I like with no head, just a huge mushroom instead. Then a weapon, two legs and an arm. And he's kind of standing like he's posing, like this is almost a hero pose, right? He looks, he, he looks so ready for some action, right? He, he just can't wait. He's, he's almost jumping so excited he is, right? He, he just, this guy needs to go on an adventure now. Right, awesome character, I like it. So here's another Toad character, right? A hero in a game. It, I mean, he looks a little sad, like his daddy just told him to uh, go outside and uh, come back when you have turned into a man, right? So he's standing there facing the whole world and all its dangers. It's great, great character. I like the color theme too. This guy I also really like. It's like a bone character, a skeleton mushroom dude. And he's kind of all decked out with, with this nature stuff on him. Like he almost looks like rainbow, right? Like he could just jump out from a bush or something and then just attack you without you even knowing he was there. Like uh, he's camouflaging with the woods. Awesome looking dude. And here we have another Gandalf type uh, frog character with a little too much uh, smurfs in his helmet, right? He almost looks like a Star Wars character. Like one of those underwater Jar Jar Binks type things. Well, well yeah. He has a he has a metal armor shoulder plate on. He's I like he's also I mean I keep saying these characters are super awesome looking, they're cool, fantastic. I, I mean, it's just one awesome character design after the other. Of course, I have dumped a lot of uh, bad character designs and I'm only showing you uh, those I like. And I have a ton more that I could show you, but I mean, this again, the video is always pretty long, right? I think this is the last character. Yeah, it is the last character. But all these character designs are, are just absolutely fantastic. And it's so helpful for me when I need to go and create new characters or new shields or weapons or treasure chests or whatever. I just have mid journey created for me. Right? I just need to find the right words and I have unlimited amount of awesome uh, concept material 
that I can use for my game. It's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. And it will speed up the whole process of me modeling stuff and figuring out how things should look. This is the solution, guys. This is, this is, this is exactly what I need. It's absolutely fantastic, and I've said it a thousand times, but it really is. It's so inspiring to look at these characters or, or these models or whatever it is that, that I'm searching for, right? Take a look at these shields. I'm trying to find new designs for shields, for example, and I get these badass looking shields, one awesome shield after another. And again, if I type in things like glow, particles and debris, I get these extremely badass looking shields. It's, it's, it's mind blowing that I can get this stuff just by typing in some words. Guys, that is all I have to show you this time. It's, I'm still completely blown away by this. It, it, it just blows my mind uh, how awesome this is. So um, I, I might make some more videos on this and then share all my, my prompts with you so you can uh, get the same looking characters and items that I'm searching for. It's, it's, uh, I mean, why not just share it out there so, so you can also get the awesome looking stuff that I'm getting, right? So um, yeah, I, let me know if you like these types of videos. They are different than my regular um, game development videos, uh, but this is such a big part of game development that I just need to talk about it too, right? So let me know what you think in the comments, all right? Thank you very much for watching. Take good care of yourself and see you next time.